Good morning, Stephen Swain, Integrated Solutions Manager from Quality Equipment, proudly serving Central and Eastern North Carolina. Here today at uh, Johnny Furby Farming up in Camden, North Carolina with Jared Day. Good morning, Jared Day, Product and System Specialist with John Deere. So Jared, we're gonna talk about our uh, exact apply technology this morning. You uh, mind sharing with us what it does? Yeah, so as we think about our conventional system, uh, we either had a three or five nozzle body that went on our sprayers. As technology has continued to advance, we've gone to more of a turret design that gives us the capability to have six nozzles um, per the design and where we can have di several different modes that we spray at, at with this application, with this technology. This smart intelligent system allows us, by being able to control our droplet size, allows us to minimize uh, the capability of drift but also allows us to maximize our spray application utilizing pulse width modulation. So Jared, you mentioned pulse width modulation. Tell us a little bit about what that is. So pulse width modulation on this particular technology is how many times that the plunger inside the system is pulsing. Exact apply pulse width modulation utilizes 15 Hertz per solenoid, giving us up to 30 Hertz per second. This assists us with uniform application and improves spray efficacy when it comes to managing droplet size. So tell us about the uh, auto AB you mentioned. Yeah, so Stephen, one of the, the um, features of the exact apply system gives us the capability from the cab to have four different modes where we could spray, spray basically from an A mode only, a B mode only, we can combine and have an AB or we can go into that auto AB. The advantages of going into the auto AB mode gives us a wider speed range. How does that incorporate into nozzle by nozzle control and turn compensation? Yeah, so Stephen, if we think about conventionally how we've sprayed, we've had booms that may have sections that may vary anywhere from eight to 11 foot. With the individual nozzle control, we're turning the nozzle on and off independently. Now, that being said, that allows us to have precise applications where the product is needed on the crop. So being able to do that gives us also the ability to have a reduction on our input cost anywhere from two to 5%. So Jerry, tell us how our turn compensation would allow a, a, a grower to reduce his input. Yeah, as, as technology is expensive, we continue to talk about our return on our investment. And one of the, the capabilities is turn compensation where we, if you think about field irregularity um, and, and a lot of point or pinch rows, as we continue to swing the boom, our conventional systems would burn more on or over apply on the inside of the turn and then under apply, not hitting our desired rate on the outside of the boom. Where as the exact apply system, turn compensation will vary that rate across the boom. So as we begin to swing the boom out, the outside of the boom will actually increase its rate nozzle by nozzle. And then the inside of the boom that's a tighter turning radius will decrease and vary that rate across each individual nozzle body. So Stephen, in today's environment, um, obviously as you get more of this technology out into your, uh, your farming organizations and, and supporting customers becomes uh, uh, a large advocacy of your organization. Talk a little bit about how you support such advanced technology from the technology itself and to make sure your customer uptime um, is where it needs to be. Yep, so we at the dealership understand um, the expense and, and investment customers have with any precision technology, especially exact apply, and, and knowing that we need to better support them and keep their downtime to a minimum. So at a dealership level, we've invested in a, in a dedicated call center, uh, which is available 24 seven. Um, guys can call and get an answer. And we can utilize uh, all of our remote tools, service advisor remote, remote display access to diagnose uh, problems to maybe keep a service tech from having to drive out to a machine. So Stephen, as we talk about the exact apply nozzle body, one of the things that we talked about is serviceability, specifically around our PWM uh, technology and our PWM solenoids. Talk a little bit about how we can monitor those and make sure or ensure serviceability is done on those units. Yeah, so when we look at our nozzle body, you know, exact apply nozzle body unit, you know, we look at a, a pretty complex uh, piece of hardware that we don't just want to throw away uh, and assume it's bad. So we have some diagnostic features built in, one of them being an LED light under the bottom that a technician or a customer can access through diagnostics. And other than that, um, just the simplicity of reprogramming it 
Um, every nozzle body you purchase from the dealership is pre-programmed for your machine, um, just by simple hooking it to a desktop in, in the parts room. So, and beyond that, just to show how simple and, and easy these units are to work on, we can replace coils, we can replace spools, um, and then we can replace the turret at the bottom, which is what is going to get likely damaged if you have a an impact of some sort. So it just shows how easy, easy they are to, to disassemble and replace parts as needed. So Stephen, another thing that we continue to talk a lot about in the agricultural space is the investment that farmers are making on technology such as Exact Apply. The major concern with farmers in today's time with market volatility and prices is that they want to know what their return on the investment is. Speak a little bit about how we utilize the technology, but we also take and extract that documented information that the machines are doing in field to help not only with the return, but also help maximize our profits. Yep, so as we evolve through the uh, precision roadmap, we'll call it, uh, we continue to add more and more data attributes, such as the machine we're standing in front of you. We can have virtual sections recording at different rates so we can have a more granulated approach to data so we can utilize our cost per acre even, even more. Um, and on top of that, it, it can become a liability. Uh, um, just the ability to know, hey, I sprayed in this weather condition. It's documented with weather stations on these machines, optional. Um, so just be able to bring all that data to a customer through Operation Center, um, which is an online platform that's still available for users for free. So Stephen, let's talk a little bit about compatibility of Exact Apply on our four series sprayers. What compatibility can we go back to today? Absolutely. So today we can order a machine from the factory all the way from our smallest 4023 up to our 4060 factory equipped with the Exact Apply technology. And we can retro back existing 4030, 4038s all the way back to 2014. The sprayer behind us is one that you guys actually upfitted with the performance upgrade kit. Talk a little bit about the, the, the performance upgrade kits. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Bryant wanted a sprayer at the time and we honestly didn't have one in stock that had the exact applied technology on it. So we were offered the ability to get the uptime kits or the performance enhancement kits and basically replumb the entire boom with the exact applied technology, put the controllers on and, and work seamless just like it did from the factory. As Stephen mentioned earlier, today we're in Eastern North Carolina at John E. Fairby Farms, and I'm with Bryant Jennings, who's going to talk to us about his experience using the Exact Apply technology. But before we do that, Bryant, tell us a little bit about your farm. I'm Bryant Jennings. I'm the eighth generation on the farm, and here we grow corn, soybeans, and potatoes. So Brian, if we think about the Exact Apply technology, tell us how long you've been utilizing the technology, and then Talk a little bit about the transition from a conventional spray system to the newer Exact Apply technology. Well, we've been using the Exact Apply technology now for three years. The transition was was much simpler than we expected. Uh, it actually makes the machine easier to run and easier to operate uh, with with being able to control a twenty inch spacing and shut off every twenty inches. The machine becomes much more maneuverable. You don't have to pay as much attention to overlap and where you where you fall in your next pass. The turn to turn turning compensate compensation is uh, has proved to be much more important than we originally thought. It saves a lot on inputs and it saves the crop a lot also. Give us a little insight relative to how accurate you have seen the technology since you've gone to uh, gone to the exact apply. The technology seems to be very accurate. The uh, one of the biggest benefits to me is, is the machine will maintain the droplet size and volume um, that the customer has selected at any speed range as long as the, there's a correct tip turn in, in that um, A or B selection as they call it. That, that has proved to be very beneficial to us as many times as you slow down or stop or go around obstacles, the machine will adjust which tip it's using or just adjust the pump itself with the modulation to maintain that pressure, which in turn may, keeps the same um, application rate to each individual plant, each individual acre, and so on and so forth. So Brian, if we talk about pulse width modulation, uh, there in the marketplace today, we've heard about 15 Hertz. The exact apply system gives us the ability to run on 30 Hertz. What has that done for your operation? Uh, Probably the biggest thing it's done for us is allowed us to use the pulse width modulation on a high volume fertilized application.
that was one of the reasons we went with this system is we apply a lot of fertilizer at 50 to 60 gallons per acre and are still able to do it very efficiently. And many of the other systems didn't allow us to do that. So Brian, as we think about agriculture today, inputs continue to be um, a, a challenge in the cost of those inputs. Talk a little bit about the technology itself and how that's helped reduce some of your input cost. The conventional systems we had used, we allowed a certain percentage of overage um, for taking off on inroads, spraying around telephone poles, different things like that where the machine would, uh, would not adjust fast enough or you double up or swath control wouldn't cut off as, as precisely as you'd like for it to. And that percentage has drastically decreased um, in the last three years we've been using this machine. As times have gone on and weeds have become more resistant, we found ourselves using much more pre-emergence than we did in the past. And as people well know, when you, you double up pre-emergence in the same place many time and time again, the yield on that particular crop tends to decrease. And we have seen much less of that as the percentage of overlap has decreased as well as the percentage of overspray when you take off from an in row or out of a corner or different things like that has decreased and added a lot of value in the yield of the crop also while taken away from our inputs. And Brian, just to cap it off, um, is there anything else on the exact apply technology that you guys utilize? I know the, the LEDs in the bottom of the unit, we've also got the key fob the ability to switch between different modes within the cab. Is there anything else that you guys have used that you've seen as beneficial and, and how have you used it or just an overarching uh, thoughts around the, the technology? Um, the lights in the boom and the key fob, they're all nice, uh, not to take anything away from the product. I hope that we didn't pay a lot of money for them because they are extremely nice, but in our particular area, that's not as important. Um, being able to stand at the side of the machine and cut different things on and off is as nice as any of it to me. And I guess maybe that goes hand in hand with the key fob. Um, but as, as the, the usability of the machine is very good. Once we've gotten used to it, um, it's hands down the easiest sprayer we've had. So Jared, take a minute and just tell us a little bit on, on from a deer representative where you see the future going with the technology. Yes, yeah, Stephen, so if we think about products and technologies such as Exact Apply, they become building blocks for a lot of things to come. The investment, like folks at Bryant Jennings, um, has made in, in this, particular, this particular sprayer gives him the capability to, to move forward in, in those technologies. One of the, the technologies from an application standpoint that we'll continue to see advancements on is a product called Sea and Spray. Um, there is a company that, that we are partnering with called Blue River Technologies that is utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to record and document the weeds that they see in the field and then precisely applicate herbicide um, to those crops to make sure that we spray those areas more effectively than we ever have. So as we think about technology in the marketplace, specifically in agriculture, the investment John Deere has made is a smart industrial company. We've seen things like Exact Apply that have been in the marketplace since 2017. What we will continue to see as a production cycle or a production step is that this technology will evolve into other uh, production cycles. Just as we see this on the sprayer, you'll continue to see this roll into a planter setup. Exact rate technology. Uh, smart fertilizer systems will will be incorporating on on future planter setups and offerings. You'll also see it in, in in combines for harvest. We also see this in our tillage practices um, in areas where there is tillage. We see a, a technology called TrueSet that manages our actual depth. Uh, we have prescription tillage now that allows us to to do that more efficiently than we ever have. So starting with those components, we have seen that roll into the full production steps. Um, and we'll see that continue to build into what we're calling our technology stack um, as we move into the future years of precision agriculture.